I mean, I think, you know, for me as an artist, you know, I'm, I'm really interested in, you know, how can we create new models of action and interaction that, that are based in creativity? You know, to me, I think humans are, are, are creative entities. Um, and, you know, just in our words and the type of clothing that we wear and the type of body language that we display to each other, you know, I think every single, more, every single human is, is creating constantly and, and communicating and asserting something about their identity through the way that they inhabit the world and their community. Um, I'm interested as an artist in, in pushing that further and, and saying, you know, how, how can we arrange the objects around us and, and the types of activities that we're involved in so that we're, we're communicating at, at, at a, in, in greater layers of, of significance. What, what, what we're building is we'll have a 10, one and a half inch diameter uh, steel struts and the shape itself will be a, a slight spiral so that from afar it will look like a cylinder but you'll be able to wheel a wheelchair into the center of it and um, I'm using those different colors um, we'll have strings hanging from from a top four inch thick wood piece um, so there'll be 55 strings four strings per foot with 10 bells on each strings and the bells themselves will be in a pattern so that it will make these uh, bands that spiral upward and with the different colors we'll be able to create the different strata layers so all the bells, are they all the same size and shape? So, so we have a template that, that looks somewhat like an hourglass when it's laid out. And so they fold and they actually look like this. But of course, you know, all, all different skill levels of people form the bell. Mm -hmm. And so they, they end up looking all different kinds of ways. Do these have clappers in them? So they require each other to chime, to resonate. So they'll hang close enough together that that's that's what will cause the resonation. Is the but they won't, the collection itself. They won't destroy each other. They. I've I've done some experiments and 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 you can actually be pretty rough with them. So it'll just be wind wind currents. Wind, um, small children who dash through them. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Actually, you know, I mean, I've, I've had a few people who just send me pictures of their tattoos. Yeah. yeah. We stopped at Shearwater Party. Yesterday, they didn't want to submit the the symbol that's on their flyer because they wanted to submit the stamp all from the pottery. So we just took a picture of the stamp. Yeah, well, that's even better. Yeah. I I think that that. You think it's correct behavior? <laughs> Is there such thing? I have a hard time saying what's correct and what's not. Well, when I thought about it, I more. thought about the skimmer, and I was like, you know, that's a little bit too much advertising. Like that's our yeah. logo, and it feels a little. Cheesy, but when I think about people collecting pottery pieces and shards and finding them with a stamp on the bottom, how excited they get, you know, I, I don't feel like that's as commercial as that. I agree. Alright, cool. That's awesome. I know, I wow. know. Turn left onto Government Street. onto Main Street, then the destination is on your right. Actually, if you could draw it in this book, this would be perfect. <laughs> and our hope is that, you know, that maybe this is some small step and our small attempt to, to, to create a visual conversation and a dialogue between these symbols. And, and maybe when you're there, the viewer can kind of see intersections um, between between these images and then how they're speaking to each other and, and who knows, we never know what can happen from our project. Sometimes nothing, sometimes a little bit of something. So this is just an activity that we're doing to to invite people into a conversation about it. To go up now.